Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. In an effort to revive the traditions of the last and the noblest messenger. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari. Sunnah of Siwa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. Inshallah ta'ala, the sunnah that we hope to revive today is sadly a sunnah that has been ignored by many of us illa man rahim Allah except for those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is upon and that is the sunnah of siwak siwak means cleaning one's mouth and teeth with a siwak which is also the name given to the tool used for this purpose which in most cases is a stick or a twig siwak is a method of cleansing one's teeth while simultaneously attaining the pleasure of our maker and this is proven in the hadith of Aisha radiyallahu anha where rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said as-siwaku matuharatu lil fam mardatu lir rab Allahu akbar siwak cleanses the mouth and is pleasing to the lord this narration has been recorded in the book of imam al-bukhari imam ahmad and imam an-nasai Imam An-Nawawi rahimahullah is reported to have said that scholars are in agreement that siwak is an extremely emphasized and encouraged sunnah but there are also scholars from our salafun as-salih our pious predecessors the likes of Imam Ishaq ibn Rahway who have considered siwak to be obligatory based on the narration of Imam Al-Bukhari rahimahullah where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said were it not for the fact that I did not want to make things hard upon my ummah upon my nation I would have commanded them to use siwak at every time of prayer and in another narration he is reported to have said he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at every instance of making ablution there are many medicinal benefits in regard to using siwak that have been highlighted to us by scholars and researchers such as it being a purifier to one's mouth battling away many types of oral bacteria offensive odors and many other diseases too likewise it's natural strong gentle fibers and minerals help to protect one's teeth better than the artificial fibers of a conventional toothbrush but bearing in mind that there is no harm at all in using the siwak as well as the modern day toothbrush all of what was mentioned was in regard to the benefits that we will attain by using siwak in this world all of which completely fade away in comparison to the benefit of attaining the pleasure of our maker and this is guaranteed because he himself states in the noble quran qul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم سيء او محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ان كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني if you all love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then follow me يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم in return allah azza wa jal will love you all and forgive you of all of your sins wallahu ghafurur rahim allah is the most forgiving the most merciful therefore my dear brothers and sisters in islam let us all revive this amazing yet simple sunnah thereby attaining the pleasure of our beloved maker and please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire a sunnah revival jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'wah ya alhamdulillah rabbil alamin support the dawa donate now go to the dailyreminder.org/donate